Hi, so my edge teacher tip is to look after yourself, look after number one, and you can see the soothing sprinkler in the background as I give this piece of advice. So in my first year of teaching, my sort of rule for looking after myself was that when I finished work on a Friday, uh, it was my first two or three actually, I never did any work until Sunday. No planning, no marking, no anything. I went out for drinks or met up with friends on Friday night, sometimes family, mostly friends. Uh, and then Saturday I had a bit of a lie-in. I went off to rugby, had a great day playing rugby, um, stayed and had a couple, of, a couple of beers with my friends if that's what I chose. Um, and then went to bed usually reasonable time and then Sunday morning I got up, my alarm went off, quick bacon butty, guilty pleasure and then I worked until it was done and it used to start off I remember I would be working until sort of half four, five o'clock and um, getting my planning done, catching up with any marking, preparing resources, whatever it would be um, before stopping for Sunday dinner at my then girlfriend's house. Um, but then over the course of the, the year and then um, again my second year that time got shorter and shorter uh, and now I don't really have to do very much work on a Sunday if at all if anything actually I've changed my times around now that was what worked for me and that was my rule and um, I would very much encourage people to try and allocate a day where they don't do any work and they remember what life is for and, and what to do at the weekends uh, for those of you who are going into this as, as parents already then that's a bit more tricky but you do need to to take that time for yourself so that you don't end up resenting um, or, or hating what you're doing because it's taken away from all of your family time. It's an incredible profession and you can take uh, as much as you give from it, but you need to make sure that you're strict um, and that you have the time to be re-energized or to be energized yourself and have enough energy for when you get into the classroom because that's what the pupils deserve.